but they're little babies. Look at these little babies. <laughs> How can I dress up some canned fruit as a festive dessert for guests? Betty Crocker's answer? Party pears. I'm Melinda and I'm cooking my way through Betty Crocker's 1971 recipe card library. Today we're making party pears, which is from section T, impromptu party fair, card number 25. <laughs> I love this card because it just feels very like, you know, moody and elegant. You know, you have the shimmering glassware, you have the chocolate syrup kind of pouring over the pears. It's very beautiful. <laughs> so that's the um, recipe for minty pears a la mode on the front, which is basically you serve the canned pears with peppermint ice cream and a minty chocolate sauce. But there's also a second recipe on the card for pears gourmet, which uses a rich sour cream sauce, very intriguing. Um, and then you broil it with brown sugar to kind of create a brulee on top. So I'm excited to try both of these. Let's get started. We're starting with the pears gourmet, and to do that, we have to prepare the rich sour cream sauce. So what we are going to do is blend six egg yolks with a cup of sour cream and a cup of sugar. So I have my six egg yolks here, and I'm just gonna go in with the sour cream. Maybe I'll do that first, and then we'll put the sugar in. My bowl is kind of small for the task at hand, but I feel okay about it. Interesting, interesting. I've never combined these two ingredients before. Fascinating, fascinating. Okay, we're going with a cup of sugar. This is gonna be a very sweet treat because there's all the sugar in this sauce and then there's sugar on the pears too. Okay, that got strangely thin. <laughs> okay, interesting, interesting. So now we're just gonna put it in a saucepan and it says to Cook over low heat, stirring constantly until mixture simmers. Continue cooking, stirring constantly until mixture thickens. Remove from heat, cool. <laughs> All right, my rich sour cream sauce is done. It's very thick and goopy. We love to see it. As I was cooking this, I thought to myself, there's something French about this. <laughs> So I consulted my queen, Julia Child, and what we're actually making is a creme anglaise. <laughs> a creme anglaise is actually egg yolk, sugar, and milk, not sour cream. So I'm not quite sure if this is an official variation on creme anglaise or if this is Betty Crocker being, you know, uh, you know funny. <laughs> but uh, yeah, good to know that I'm doing something real and it's kind of like a custard. So that makes sense to me. Let's prepare our pears gourmet. All right, so I have two cans of pear halves here in 100% juice, Del Monte quality. And I didn't realize how tiny pear halves were. I don't know why I thought they'd be bigger than this, <laughs> but they're little babies. Look at these little babies. <laughs> So I'm gonna put them in the bottom of this baking dish once they've drained. I guess, what do we want? Do we want the cut sides up or down? I think we want the cut sides up. Little crevices to fill with goop. <gasps> Wait a second, this one's huge. Excuse me. One big one in a bunch of babies? This is what I was expecting. I don't know what's going on over at Del Monte. 100% quality, I don't know. Just kidding, and they're probably fine. <laughs> Okay, cute, 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 cute. Let's get this pear juice out of here. Mix rich sour cream sauce and rum, brandy, or sherry. I have some sherry here. And hmm, things are taking a turn for this sauce. It's getting very thick. Well, we're gonna mix a quarter cup of sherry in and see what happens. It's thinning out, it's thinning out. It smells like alcohol now. Making a mess, it's okay, everything's fine, everything's fine. Pour over pears. We're gonna pour it over pears next. <laughs> okay, it's gotten back down to like where it began before it was cooked in terms of thickness, but I think that's what we want. And I don't know if I should I pour this whole thing over these pears? This is a lot of goop. Okay, sorry guys. I'm gonna really gonna get covered in this weird goo. I don't know if I need to use all of it. 
I'm not gonna use all of it. They're completely covered. You know, this is this is giving mac and cheese vibes. <laughs> it's kind of a dessert mac and cheese. Hmm. Fascinating. Okay, yeah, I'm definitely not putting the rest of that on. Sorry. Let me do a little bit more. That just feels like way too much sauce. And I had an ounce of extra pear, so I don't know. <laughs> sprinkle of brown sugar. Okay, I have some brown sugar here. We're just gonna sprinkle it on. Sprinkle it on. You want it nice and even. Sprinkling, sprinkling, sprinkling. All right, now we're gonna put this in the broiler for six to eight minutes until the brown sugar is nice and melted and starting to crisp. All right, so a few minutes in the oven and everything is looking nice and brown and crispy on top. I'm very excited. Um, the recipe says that you could serve it um, hot or chilled. So I'm gonna put it in the fridge and chill it for a little bit while we make the minty pears a la mode. All right, we're over at the stovetop making our chocolate mint sauce for our minty pears a la mode. So I just have kind of a, a double boiler situation going on. I got my chocolate chips up at the top and we're just gonna melt the chocolate and then go from there. Okay, our chocolate chips are getting nice and melted. It already smells yummy. So we're gonna turn off the heat and then we're gonna add, what are we gonna do? Beat in milk, salt, and extract. So I have five ounces of evaporated milk here that I'm gonna just kind of slowly whisk in. I'm gonna try to at least. I only have two hands. Whisk in, whisk in, whisk in. Now it's seizing up a bit. <laughs> I think it just needs more milk. Okay, let's try this. <laughs> and I'm also gonna add a bit of peppermint extract and a little pinch of salt. Whiskin, whiskin, whiskin. Get that nice and thick and that's too thin to go over our chocolate or our pears. You saw the photo. It was a thick, luxurious drizzle. I might not have had enough chocolate chips. Oh no, oh no. All right, it's time to assemble the minty pears a la mode. I did put the chocolate sauce in the fridge for a bit to get it to cool off and it is a better consistency now. That's feeling more like a chocolate sauce to me. Still kind of drizzleable, but a little bit thicker. And I didn't want to put like a scorching hot sauce on top of ice cream, so <laughs> makes sense to me. Okay, so I have these cute little cups here. I'm gonna put in, I guess a couple pears per cup. Little pears, little pears, so cute, so precious. And then I have some peppermint bark gelato. The recipe called for peppermint ice cream and I couldn't find that, but um, like you could even tell it's pink on the front of the card, pink ice cream, but I couldn't find that. So we got this white peppermint ice cream and the bark, you know, just a little extra chocolate. Why not? Why not have a little extra chocolate in the mix? And I guess I'm just gonna scoopity scoop. Okay, okay, okay. Now, quickly, before the ice cream melts, let's do our chocolate drizzle. Ooh. Very dramatic. Perfect for a party. <laughs> okay, let's give him a taste. All right, first I'm gonna dig into our minty pears a la mode here before they start to melt completely. <laughs> I got some pear, I got some chocolate sauce, and I got some ice cream. Mm-hmm. Yummy. Yeah, the mint ice cream and the pears, perfect combination. The pears, you know, super soft, not too sweet. I could really smell the peppermint in the chocolate sauce when I was making it, but you can't really discern that the chocolate sauce is peppermint flavored once you put it on peppermint ice cream. But it's really light and refreshing. Pretty delicious. Mmm, yummy. Okay, I'm gonna eat the rest of that, but. <laughs> First, I'm gonna try the gourmet pears. Let's take a scoop out with this weird sour cream sauce. <laughs> and let's take a bite of that. Hmm, okay. <laughs> I'm definitely getting the brown sugar from the brulee on top, which is a great pairing with the pears. Pairing with the pears. The sour cream 
is coming through. You can taste the sour cream flavor for sure. <laughs> Which, I don't know about it. It adds like a kind of tartness or a savoriness. That's kind of bizarre. Mm. The more I eat it, the more I'm okay with it. I feel like I have had like, you know what this reminds me of? We put sour cream in the German chocolate cheesecake bars that I made on this channel. I mean, it's giving a similar flavor. There's like a tanginess that the sour cream brings. Mmm, both pretty good, pretty tasty. Mmm, party pairs. These were a party. I think both of these were really fun dessert ideas to serve to guests. Um, I think the chocolate drizzle would be very like dramatic at a party to like, you know, serve. I think the gourmet pairs like really look gourmet. Like it's not something that you would see every day, like coming out of the oven with this brulee on top and the really creamy sauce was really rich and tangy and interesting. So I definitely feel like that is something worthy of a party. And the fact that you can make them both with canned fruit just means that you can make them year round. You make them with everything that you have on hand. Really just simple, easy, two delicious desserts. So I'm gonna give it five out of five red spoons. All right, back in the box. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, I have another easy fruit dessert recipe from Betty Crocker called apple dumplings. So you should watch that one next. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe if you aren't already, and until next time, happy homemaking.